This was a 62-year-old alcoholic individual who deteriorated while being evaluated in the emergency room. This is the initial CT scan from 12.30 in the afternoon. For a 62-year-old person, this is a lot of volume loss. You see sulcal enlargement, ventricular enlargement, and in addition, you see that the patient has low-density collections bilaterally, so-called chronic subdural hematomas. Remember that as the hematomas age, they get less and less dense, and therefore these low-density collections that can be seen here are likely weeks to months old. There was a single section in which there appeared to be a small area of hemorrhage associated with the sylvian fissure on the left side, but this would have been read as bilateral chronic subdural hematomas in a patient demonstrating marked volume loss and a small focus of blood products in the subarachnoid space around the left sylvian fissure. The patient deteriorated while in the emergency room. I'd like to show the follow-up study. As you can see by the scout image, the patient is now being monitored with EEG monitors because of the deterioration. And on the CT scan, we can see that those low-density subdural hematomas bilaterally are now isodense. Now, we know that these are not subacute hematomas. This is isodense subdural hem hemorrhage secondary to dilution of the low-density chronic subdural hematomas with new acute blood. So we take low density blood in the chronic subdural, we add an acute higher density blood from the acute subdural, we mix them together and what do you get? An isodense subdural bilaterally in this patient. As I mentioned, this patient had alcoholic history and the patient may have had a coagulopathy secondary to the hepatic degeneration in, for example, the blood clotting factors. So this is an example of acute hemorrhage into a chronic collection going from low density to isodensity and creating bilateral isodense subdural hematomas. You notice that that minimal amount of blood that was in the sylvian fissure on the left side previously has now resolved eight hours later. 